be standing here with the success we have had if that voice didn't come out of the legislature. Governor, $90 million more, and Harvey got it. Thank you. And I have to say, while I am thrilled to be joined by all of our colleagues, it is particularly special today to be joined by our former assembly member, Harvey Wiesenberg. But I want to tell you about what love is all about. Because now I go to Ricky at least twice a week to take care of him and give him love. And I think about the life that he has. Can't communicate, can't see, and yet people are taking care of him. But I want to tell you, I was feeding Ricky and holding his hand. And I say, Mommy loved you so much, Ricky. I love you, you're so good. You're just such a wonderful child. And he squeezed my hand. And like lightning from above came, went through me, because I felt his love. And now I really understand how all these years, over 50 years, how my wife felt because she was happy. And the happiest day was the love that she was getting from a child who could not speak or see, and that I felt that. So if we don't have these people, and we can't retain the people that we have, then we have a crisis and a critical situation. That's why I'm here, to make people aware that are going to make the decisions to understand the consequences of what we have. When I was here and I worked with the governors, including Mario Cuomo and his, and his wonderful wife, we worked together and we had success. We need some success now. Here's a population that needs all that we can do to give them dignity and respect and a healthy and safe environment. They can't do that without direct care trained professionals. We can't get them unless we pay them. When people flipping hamburgers make more money than people taking care of other human beings, this is a tragedy. The whole world is listening. Governor, be our leader. Be a hero. Listen to the voice of the people. Be fair to direct care. Thank you and God bless you.